So what is up guys, this is Jared Spalding here today. I've got, I guess, kind of a follow-up to the whole USPS Stole My Coins video. And this is just more about eBay than them. But yeah, I'm done with selling on eBay, you know. I've, for one, most people in the coin community don't usually recommend it. But I figured I'd try it out anyway. And you know, they got the widest um audience of any website that sells, where you know anyone can sell on. So I was like, well... I guess I'll, you know, try it anyway, you know, the fees are kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is, right? But, oh man, was that a mistake, because everything was going well at first. I believe I had sold a semi-key Indian head penny, whatever, some chains, like some gold-plated chains, whatever, some wheat pennies, whatever, um, you know, that was all fine and dandy. The wheat pennies, I made a decent amount of money, so I was able to buy some silver, so I was like, you know what, I think I'll continue with this, and then... There came the day, I believe, you know, about three weeks ago. Yeah, just about three weeks ago. Well, no, no, I'm wrong. Four weeks ago, actually. Yeah, it'd been a little bit over four weeks ago. When I listed, um, there's a lot on eBay, and it was some, you know, nothing weird or anything. Just you know, standard coin lot, perfectly fine. And you know what ends up happening? It gets up pretty high, right? I mean, not like, you know, spend the same amount of money, but it goes to, like, one forty-seven fifty, I think. And the person who wins it decides not to pay. And I literally gave them 10 days. They don't respond to me or anything. And since I'm using the mobile version of eBay, I couldn't even try to contact anyone else who had bid and, you know, send them a second chance offer because you can't do that on mobile. And so I was having a lot of problems. I decided to just relist the thing. And I believe it sold, it sold today, and I believe it went for, you know, like, half of the book before, like, $78. So the person already paid for it, so whatever. I'll try to ship that out. It's the last thing I'm ever going to ship out from eBay because of the whole copper coin situation. You know, and this is this, this goes for shipping out anything, not just uh, through eBay. But, you know, they had to get stolen, and I refunded the guy. Not eBay's fault. But then eBay has the audacity to send me a April invoice for selling. And guess what? They charged me 10% of everything I sold, not including the lot I that just sold today that didn't count as part of it. I don't know why they, cause that doesn't make any sense. Maybe they're going to update it. But they sent me an invoice for the other two items that I got $0 from. Literally, eBay knows that because they know I canceled the one order and they know I had to refund the other. It says that you sent the um, buyer a full refund. And yeah, that's absolutely amazing. They're going to try to charge me for making no money, really, so, basically, at this point, I've literally just about lost on eBay, you know, I've lost money from two items, because I have to, you know, deal with the whole, try and get my, um, you know, get the insurance, um, on the package, since it was insured up to $50, I believe, so, um, whatever, I'll get that taken care of, but, right now, I'm in the hole for eBay, so, you know, and this item was pretty annoying, too, because it went for, like, way less than before. Now they're full. That's just, you know, people. And that's the other thing. It's the people on eBay. I can't stand some of them who, you know, decide not to pay. And then, you know what? Fine. You can't pay it. Finances change. That's whatever. But respond to me, at least. You know, you really, like, how can you think that it's okay to just not respond to somebody for 10 days straight when you should be paying? I don't know. That's just something that bothers me about all these selling websites. But eBay, in particular, they take huge fees and their service, the only reason that they can, you know, even do that is because most people use eBay because it's the most known. And so, you know, they can say, oh, we're providing you with a large audience. Well, guess what? Your service is still extremely broken. I mean, there's still all these problems going on. You know, loopholes where buyers just don't have to pay for anything, apparently. And eBay doesn't care. And they'll still charge me for it as if, you know, I didn't have to refund someone's purchase and cancel another order. So that was really just with the final nail in the coffin. I probably would have... You know, it's some annoyingness, whatever, but when eBay did that, you know, I'm going to try to get it resolved, but that, that just really, you know, bothered me, because it's like, okay, so, you know, I'm already going through all this you know, turmoil on eBay, or whatever, and then they're just going to really think it's okay to do that, you know, to send me this invoice for something that they know, I they know I made no money, and they're still going to charge me, so, that's why I am done selling on eBay, um, if you guys have any websites that you think I should try out for selling coins or whatever, let me know, but I'll still buy from eBay. I'm just not going to sell because um, there's so many problems. And maybe I might come back to it later on. I don't know, but that is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.